Thank you very much for the opportunity to discuss our paper on metaphyseal cones, a series of 740 cases for the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. My name is Matthew Abdel, and I'm joining you on the behalf of my co-authors. This is an intriguing study. Over the past several decades, innovations in metaphyseal fixation have occurred, and we now have 3D printed cones that utilize specific reamers to simplify the preparation and new geometries that allow us to take care of bone defects in the metaphysis, whether simple or complex, to address the bone loss, but also to allow biologic fixation for the long term. We previously published our series of approximately 200 3D printed reamer based metaphyseal cones in 2020. And the purpose of this study was to look at a much larger series with longer term follow up. In the series of 740 3D printed reamer based metaphyseal cones with mean follow up approaching five years, we found that the survivorship free of aseptic loosening of the metaphyseal cones was very low, 1%. The most common failure mechanism was infection followed by arthrofibrosis. And thus, this five-year survivorship free of any revision was a little bit lower at 92%, but primarily reasons unrelated to metaphyseal fixation and fixation of the overall construct. We also completed a radiographic review in the study and found that for all unrevised cases, there's a very low rate of radiographic evidence of loosening. We only found three cones that were of concern for loosening on radiographs, and all three were in mega prostheses or hinge knee constructs that have very high loads, two on the femoral side and one on the tibial side. And these were traditionally tibial cones placed in distal femoral bone and then a distal femoral replacement through that in which there are very high loads in those regions. So in summary, we found that for the vast majority of cases, these 3D printed reamer based metaphyseal cones address the bone loss, but most importantly, provided biologic fixation, which was excellent in the midterm, and we anticipate for that to continue in the long term. Future innovations on the use of these metaphyseal cones really include a metaphyseal cone with diaphyseal impaction grafting for those cases in which there's a sclerotic canal that's previously been violated, and we need to re-cement into that canal. I thank you for spending a few moments with us and look forward to future opportunities.